Cisco email security, macro detection. Okay, macros are a series of commands that can be run automatically to perform tasks, right? They've been the, the devil in disguise forever. So macro code is embedded in office documents and written in program languages known as visual basics, right? Um, the big thing is macros can be used to drop malware, download malware, do malicious things, right? And therefore, we may not want those to come into the organization or at least scrutinize them or make it very difficult for them to come in. So the email security appliance has the ability to filter attachment, detect advanced malware, scan for macro-based threats, and this is really gonna be focused on that. And we're gonna create that content filter first, right? And that content filter will be applied to an incoming mail policy, which is gonna look at um, files that may have uh, macros enabled. And, and in that case, what we'll wanna do is maybe strip that attachment. Okay, so we're gonna give it a name, macro detection. We're gonna add a condition. And this is pretty easy stuff, right? So we're gonna focus on uh, Microsoft and OLE, or OLE file types um, in this particular use case. And once we add the condition, then we add the action itself. So condition added, time to add the action. And here what we want to do is strip attachment with macro. And we'll pick those two uh, types here. We'll add them over and we can add a custom replacement message if we want to. So now that we've got our incoming, um, or sorry, our yes, our incoming content filter created, we submit it and then we commit changes, right? And again, this is like an object, right? It's not in use yet, but we'll commit the changes, we'll save them, we'll give it a name for auditing, right? So we know what changes were made to the system itself. And then from there, we're gonna go right quickly into uh, incoming mail policies and build that out. And then we'll do some testing. This is a very easy addition uh, to add a, a additional layers of, of security for sure. So incoming mail policies. And again, we're always using the default policies in all these scenarios, but this could be very granular, right? You could have certain groups that you may have macro detection enabled because macros are more common. It might be a default policy. Again, you can build the policies how you see fit. As a security individual, obviously we want nothing with macros enabled, right? But businesses still use macros today uh, and therefore you may have to tweak the way the policy actually uh, is set. So. We've added it, again, very easy. Submit, commit changes, give it a description here, um, and then we're ready to test. All right, commit changes. And what we'll do, like all other videos, we'll go to the uh, email security appliance and we'll tail the mail underscore logs. And again, we'll review that um, as well as we'll review, um, you know, anything in the dashboard maybe that uh, is of interest as well, right? When we perform the test itself. All right, so now we've got the logging ready to go. Let's go ahead and open up our Outlook client and we will be sending from Adam, right, an external entity, and we will be sending to Alan, an internal user. And what we will do though is we will add a file with uh, macros enabled. Now remember, there's all kinds of other ways of detecting bad, right? And, and that includes things like advanced malware protection and then detonating this in a sandbox and holding that mail message until we get a disposition back. We're getting very close to the, the advanced malware section. I think we've got a couple other videos uh, just prior 
Um, but once we get uh, a couple more out of the way, we're going to look at advanced malware and some of the capabilities there as well. But uh, one thing to note is with Cisco email security, whether on-prem or off-prem, you do get advanced malware capabilities if you buy that license or subscription, but it also includes sandboxing, right? A lot of people don't realize that. All right, so we've sent the message, we've added the attachment, and if everything's working properly, we should see that uh, the message gets, uh, the actual attachment itself gets stripped. All right, so we do see that there is an attachment. Um, nothing else seems to have changed, but the attachment is a text file, right? It's not a uh, the uh, attachment that we originally added. So if you double click the uh, attachment itself, you will be able to see that the message in there was uh, macro detected. Okay, so it's just a Word document or a text file and that's it. No harm, no foul at this point. Okay, so when we look at the logs themselves, we can see macro detected, right? And again, it's already went through the other checks and balances, right, before it got to content filter. But content filter, again, another layer of protection was able to determine that there was macros enabled in that file and therefore um, there was some uh, rewriting that took place by stripping out the actual uh, message itself. So pretty easy stuff, right? Uh, probably five minutes worth of con configuration. So here, just again, just to double check, we'll go into incoming uh, content filters, macro detection. And again, with office files and OLE file types. Again, the same here, and then we're gonna add that macro detected. Okay, so strip attachment with macro. So we, we did see that, it worked as expected. Now, if we go over to the dashboard, we have a uh, tab there, macro detection. And very quickly, we can see whether or not we see macros in the environment. And there we can see one, like all other videos, right? Again, we can pivot right into uh, message tracking, which does all the pre-filtering from that tab, right? Or that window that we were in. Right, it already filled in macro file types detected, incoming, and the file type. So we didn't have to do anything there. And we can see the message here. We can see the file name. And then we can go into show details. And here we can also see uh, that file type, Microsoft Office files contains macro. But before that, as you go through, so you can see there, there's the, the file, but you can go through negative, 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 clean, negative, unknown. There's the SHA-256, right? It could be going up to threat grid, uh, the sandbox to, to detonate, to get uh, further insight into the file if it's unknown. And then we go down to the incoming content filters and we can see the drop macro enabled attachment, right? It, it detected the macro and it dropped that actual attachment. So bang, right, done. We get rid of macros, we get rid of other noise like this, right, um, rewrite URLs, and, and we're making email a lot more secure than it was by default. Pretty cool stuff.